Hi, I'm Ed from Wright. And I'm CBQ from Greensy. And we just uh, completed a training yesterday with a bunch of our dealers. And uh, we've done a number of these trainings. We go through the mower, show um, the very basic operation machine, which is really easy to use. Mm -hmm. and we get into a lot of technical details and service related stuff. So we had a great training yesterday. And um, Greensy just launched an update to the software. They make uh, smaller updates throughout the year. But right. as we go into the spring, they launch a, a major update with a number of things. And so uh, we're going to walk you through what some of those updates are and how it makes the machine easier to use. Awesome. So uh, Ed's right. Um, 4.0 Greensy update uh, came out uh, on March 3rd. Uh, it rolled out to all the Greensy equipped units, all the autonomous standards EKs across the nation got the update, uh, including our units in Canada and Australia. And um, the verdict is in. Some landscapers who are using it early, uh, much easier to use. You know, 4.0 has about four main features, and, and we're going to go through a few of them, uh, starting with the interface itself. It's a new, simplified interface. You know, we uh, basically listened to our customers, and they said, hey, listen, the thing I need to know right up front is how much time is remaining, uh, how many acres are remaining. So that is front and center. It's a much simplified user interface, larger uh, fonts, uh, easier to read in the hot sun wherever you are in the U.S. Uh, you know, that has been uh, something we've been asking for. We made things some small, so a lot bigger, a lot easier to read. As always, and you, and you, there were several different types of maps that would show your progress, and, and but but that's now that's been right. combined into one. All combined experience. into one screen, so you don't need to go to another one to see how far, or what the turns are like. It's all that right there, which has been really great. Yeah, I like it a lot. The other thing is it's a progressive mobile web app, so it is translatable into all languages. So if you have Spanish-speaking crews, uh, you know, uh, Creole, all of that, it's all translated, which is really nice. So, you know, uh, operators love it, uh, permanent resident, H2B, all that. Uh, so the interface has been all, all updated, including a new controls tab, which is uh, great. It's a much simplified uh, to be able to change settings, uh, blades on, mm -hmm. um, engine on, uh, and all kinds of settings, including speed, as well as the obstacle detection modes, which we have fairly clarified for our users, uh, going from the default to uh, strict and also a relaxed mode. For so why don't we talk mode. that for, for a second? So if you're going to use a strict, what would be a setting where you'd use that? Athletic fields, uh, uh, areas that are very flat and um, um, uh, you know uh, uniform. Uh, work great with this type of mode. Especially if you're cutting the grass a little bit shorter. Correct, like at the one and a half or, or lower, uh, or at that, that level. Uh, so very good for those uh, practice fields, intramurals, college campuses, uh, areas where the, it is very uniform. Uh, default is standard, uh, you know, leave it on the default and it'll you know, do a great job of making tall grass short and not running into the obstacles as well as um, obviously people is our number one concern. Uh, proud to report uh, zero OSHA related safety accidents and it will continue that way. So that's default. And then relax would be if you, um, let's all be honest, uh, sometimes it goes uh, a month or two in between cuts and you've got to hit it at five and a half. And, grass steep. and you've got broad, tall, leafy weed, weeds and things like that. So you can do relax mode to knock it down. Um, and we know that, that uh, people use the right autonomous CK to do that. Hmm. Uh, can't, everybody can't have that nice Bermuda. Um, so uh, that mode works really well and is used by some operators. So the great new settings page uh, controls, we call it. Uh, the alerts have been moved to the top. Uh, obviously, when there's an alert, you can see it, um, but all past alerts, same, same interface. Uh, and so that works well. Also, too, is new is uh, loading jobs and viewing those jobs, and as well as editing a job, uh, much easier, a lot more clean. So when you edit a job, you can change the uh, name of it. You can change the stripe overlap. Uh, you can also change the stripe direction very easily, uh, choosing from smart stripes to regular, and um, it works really well. The feedback has been really good about uh, creating jobs, creating the keep out zones uh, that have been really integral that we introduced last season, mm -hmm. um, and all of that is now new uh, and improved. So that's the new interface. Yeah, and I think something that, that we've all seen and, and that you've done is that as we see more and more time on these machines, and we saw a record amount of time last spring, yes. it's really picking up at this point. 57 um, and a half miles of autonomous, or sorry, 57, 2.8 billion, billion uh, square uh, uh, turf uh, acres mode. Yep. So a lot of, a lot of square footage. And uh, one, one fun thing they did at the end of the season was awards on different folks that were um, getting the most from the machine. You want to talk about any of them real quick? Yeah, so we did. We have uh, we do it every year. We publish the Greensy Awards. It's a coveted uh, and it's a physical award, so people love getting it in the mail. Um, we had uh, new categories this time, including large homeowners, which we uh, love and, and respect, as well as our uh, large uh, customer accounts, 
uh, set some pretty record uh, days. Just so y'all know, uh, one autonomous mower had an 11 hour autonomous day. Okay, so that's not a 410 type schedule, but that's an autonomous mower who went for 11 hours. Straight, no and, lunch. And, yeah, no overtime request either there. So the uh, the gentleman running it is a, is a star operator and uh, he well deserved that award. So we'll be doing that next year we, uh, as well. We've already started collecting and people are already competing for the awards already okay. this season. So uh, it's on. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's been really good. So that's feature one, the new interface, which is doing great. Uh, second uh, thing is a all new way to map. So a lot of our customers have been asking for a, um, a way to map closer to obstacles. And we're proud to say that we did it. Um, and we've done it in, co in um, conjunction with some of the safety standards work that we are doing with OPEI on the tag groups for large scale and commercial uh, ice autonomy. Mm -hmm. And so what it, we now do is we use the outer deck edge to record the map. So when you press the map button to record a job, we use the outer deck edge. That outer deck edge then um, basically is the outer boundary. Before in 3.0, you could uh, record the uh, path of the mower and we allowed the mower to go into that path. Yeah, you'd record offset in and record yeah. the center line. And the machine yes. would cross over that center line on its turns. So and that was is... confusing to a lot of people. And we used to tell people, hey, here's why you need to leave 10 to 12 feet yeah. as a buffer. And so what we've done is we've changed it. And now you record the outer path and you basically are saying if the mower, any part of the mower ever goes outside of this area, then we shut off. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that can happen on a dewy ground that's slippery on a slope but like that. You know, if for some reason the mower were shut off, uh, it will shut off completely and stop if it ever goes outside that. So that, that edge can be used to more accurately define and map closer to obstacles. Yep. And then what we do, too, now is... Uh, I, I want to just be sure no one misunderstands what we're saying. So you record against the edge, but if you come back and load that map, it's going to cut offset in from that. So you will need to manually do your outer lap. That's correct. On, on subsequent weeks. And we found that that's the most productive yeah. use case, right? That's the way it's it, done. A lot of people, a lot of operators want to, uh, we call it get greedy in the training, yeah. right? You get greedy and try and carve off too much autonomous mowing. And the ideal use case is to have an autonomous mower, uh, let the autonomous mower mow, and yep. then jump on a ZXT or a ZXL or a, a LG or a standard ZK that doesn't have autonomy or the Green's autonomy and, and do that work. And so keep in pipeline. mind, you know, a lot of folks who look at this product, they're looking at it as if they need to mow the entire pro property with the right. autonomous mower. But in most use cases, um, you're running a regular mower at the same time you're running an autonomous mower on that job site as you're supervising it. So right. you really only need the autonomous mower to, to do half the acreage. And so there's no need to get greedy on trying to go underneath you know, low hanging limbs and that kind of thing. That's correct. So uh, in addition to that, once you mow the outer uh, boundary and we record that, we now mow an inner lap which mm -hmm. gives us room to turn. Uh, and the other thing that's very nice is when it encounters a keep out zone, uh, this is critical and I'm surprised we didn't do this before. This is us learning from our customers. We do an inner loop around that. Every time we come to a keep out zone, we do a loop around it, which also gives us that nice buffer for turns and outlines the object, just like a human would. I mean, most of the mm -hmm. time when you're mowing and you come up to something, you do a loop around it so that you can have area to turn your zero turn. And so it does that. And then uh, one more thing that's kind of small is that when it's done, it turns off the blades mm -hmm. and heads back. So it's saving you a little bit more fuel. In the yep. end. And it always goes along the boundary to not mess up your stripes. Now, I know we're going to talk about um, job costing and planning in a minute, but do you want to just get a quick lead on that? Yeah. So what we have done is Greensy has built some tooling, and we went over it in our training uh, called the planning tool that allows you to basically estimate a job. So if you are curious about the labor savings that you can experience now, you can go to Greensy's website. I believe Wright is gonna add one to theirs. But at Greensy's website, go to the planning tool at the bottom of the, the first page, fill out the form, and you can basically put in an address, you can map out, and you can see the labor savings uh, for yourself with your labor rates, and you can basically find out, you know, could I build a route? Mm -hmm. uh, and you can see this labor savings of manual versus autonomous yep. and basically see it. And that's been a great tool for people who are interested. I mean, we've gone, as you know, uh, in the five years we've been doing this together, that we've gone from does it work to, okay, we see that it works. Okay, it's in production. Mm -hmm. And now the question is, how much can I save? How mm -hmm. do I put this to use and actually get a return on the investment? Because it, it is an investment 
but uh, the companies that are doing it are, and that's why they're expanding. Yes. They've done the planning and they've got the routes. It's really good to see that. And I've always said about our business, our goal is not to sell you your first mower. It's that the first mowers do it really well, generating revenue and profit that allows you to buy your second mower. And we're yeah. starting to see that with some autonomous Agreed. Uh, business where folks are coming back for more mowers to expand their, their autonomous operations. Great. So the third feature in 4.0 is that we've improved the turns. You know, it's no secret that you can look in past videos three years ago that Ed Wright taught our mower how to do its first mm -hmm. Y turn. And he did a great job of doing that. We obviously watched all his later videos on how to do that. Um, and so we, we've taught it how to do it. We've learned a lot with all the data that we've had. We've been able to improve the kinematics of the Y turn, making it uh, nice and smooth for even sloped and, and uh, slightly sloped areas. And so we're very proud of that new Y turn. Less turf damage um, works uh, very, very well. Uh, you know, go and get a demo and see and judge us and uh, rate us. We'd love to know our rating, uh, nine through 10. And by the way, when the mower does that Y turn, it does it all day long, right? Yep. It doesn't at the end of the day just decide, oh, I'm too tired. I'm, a, I'm just gonna tear up the grass and get out of here. Yep. It does the same turn every time. So uh, it's been pretty awesome to see. The fourth last thing is a ton of reliability and performance improvements. Uh, we've been able to capture a lot of data about why the mower will stop, be it sensor degradation, uh, GPS jumps, uh, other small activities that would cause the mower to pause in the field, or even in some places require a restart of the system, which was uh, a delay to our users who were trying to be very productive. We have found and fixed a lot of those issues. We're very proud that 4.0 contains uh, USB performance, uh, reliability, uh, camera recalibration, all kinds of other things that help our customers do more with less stops in the field. That was the name of the yep. game, is less stops in the field. Uh, and so the mower just goes and goes and goes. And that's great because this mower has a 15 and a half gallon tank and can go for a day and a half. The charge on the, yep. the remote control goes for two days. So we've been able to see as we saw these awards, I'm, I'm anxious yep. to see what the awards will be this year. For some good run time. Run time. So that's all the features of 4.0. Uh, and the Greensy team has already started on 5.0. So we're taking uh, a couple you know, days in. Yeah, a couple days in. <laughs> Uh, and we've already started, so we're looking for feedback. Um, and we're also, uh, customers are already getting a lot of usage. So I yep. encourage you to get a demo uh, and go to your local dealer and find out more. Yeah, and if you're not familiar with how the product works, we're talking about these updates. It's something that goes on all the machines that have been built. And the machines that we're making today have a ton of capability. And so mm -hmm. over time, um, even if you buy a machine right now, continuing, it'll tend to continue to grow with you and get these additional capabilities. 100%. And that's a, that's, to me, really exciting to be able to have a product where you can make updates that now make it more reliable. Um, you know, in a traditional business, that was never possible. And and keep in mind that the type of updates and things we're talking about, you know, we're not talking about functionality, right? We're talking about how do I go from ultra productive to even more productive, mm -hmm. you know, and it could be small uh, cha changes like the one we added last year where the, the mower vibrates when it's done, yep. letting you know it's time to do another job. Yep. So all kinds of quality of life improvements, and these will be throughout the season and uh, throughout the rest of the time we're working together. Now, in terms of availability, um, right now, if, if this is the right machine for you, we encourage you to reach out to us or Greensy and uh, set up a demo um, or look at some of those maps that we were talking about. Um, we'd love to show you the product, and they're immediately available. Um, I think this spring, from what we're hearing so far, we're going to see a lot of expansion. Mm -hmm. um, so I think by the time we get even a month in from now, um, we might start looking at a short waiting list. Um, so keep that in mind if you think that autonomous is, is the right choice for you going into the spring. With that, thank you for your time and hope you have a great spring. Cheers.